the, the 80s, in my experience, were, were probably a, a bigger problem than what they are now. Okay. And just on Main Street in Ottawa, you saw um, how many stores closed during that time period as well. And uh, so it, it had a major impact, and there, there's various reasons why those stores closed, but uh, it was, uh, and, and the rest of you, I think you've been, you got more gray hair than I do, but um, uh, they, <laughs> they, they, they might not have as much hair as he does. <laughs> but and He's you may, may have uh, different, different experiences. Just a pop. Yeah. You, you know, the times are different from the 80s, and the, and the situation is different. That was an ag problem and, and an oil problem. And, and we didn't raise crops, we had severe droughts. And, and uh, you know, some people made it, some people didn't. Uh, but, you know, we bounced back from that. And I think we're going to bounce back from this deal, too. And again, we're not, we're not in bad of shape as, as uh, we were then. Uh, you know, uh, and, and it's just a different, it's a different situation. Yeah. I can go back a little further than like not, not a lot. Uh, late 70s, I started in 78. And I can remember when we had the, the banking crisis, it was really an SNL crisis back in the early 80s where uh, there were several savings and loans that went under and it was, that's when the whole banking system was starting to be deregulated and they were changing the rules for what savings and loans could, could uh, charge on, on and what they could earn on savings accounts. It used to be that savings and loans could pay a higher rate of interest on savings accounts than what banks could. And they re deregulated all that back late 70s, early 80s. And, and I think that the uh, early 80s were a tougher time. But I want to I want to come back to something Jeff said, because he's making a really good point in terms of the fact that when you talk about uh, perspective of how long we've been, the bank, I mean, people's been around since 1871, they've seen a lot of things. And part of that is that, that we do have the community's interest at heart. We aren't going to make a loan to somebody who they shouldn't have a loan. Sure. And when you have a system out there that's based on greed, which some of this stuff was, absolutely, they don't care about that. And the banks that we represent, uh, we really are trying to serve the community, and we try to take care of the people involved in in the relationship part of what we do. So I would tell you that that, that long-term perspective is what has kept us out of trouble and uh, help the community along the way. So I, I don't know how far back do you go? Been out there since 1901, I'm personally. <laughs> yeah, I know you yeah, right. yeah. 1979 when I started. 79? I started in Ag Lending in Central Kansas, and yeah, we were kind of right there. Yeah, that's our, that time. The, the, our particular office was, did very well. Okay. And so yeah, I think it gets down to just the right lending. In fact, you've got to see these people at the store through the week. Yeah. And, and I know difference. a banker told me I would take the same route home twice. Yeah. <laughs> and one time thing, ambush. But really, it, it, you all said exactly right. We, we have customers that we go to church with, we go to school with, we see at ball games at the store, and uh, you don't want to have to duck under or go the other way when you see somebody, nor do they want to toward you. And so I think it's, it's more of a relationship banking that yeah. totally different from what got us in trouble. Okay, well, you Listen, I'm totally optimistic. We're, it's going to take us a while. We, we might be a year to two years working out of this deal. But yesterday I spent I spent the day with the Kansas legislature. We had a bank, banking deal. And, and, you know, the challenges that we have are challenges with the state budget. Mm -hmm. You know, a billion dollars that they've, they've got to take care of. Then, you know, those people are, are optimistic. They say we've got we're gonna come up with a comprehensive energy plan and a policy for our state. That's good news for us. Uh, absolutely optimistic. I don't know how you could not be optimistic. Um, everything Jeff's talking about is is uh, positive <clears throat> for the industry, positive for the state. The intermodal facility, whenever it gets off the ground, that's gonna help us locally. I, I mean there's lots of reasons to be optimistic. I wouldn't I'm, I'm with Jeff in terms of it's not going to happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. These these issues, the economy in general is going to be an issue for all of 2009.